Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with my brand new Huawei watch, GT Runner. And in this video, guys, we're going to take a look at the AOD mode, which is short for always on display. Okay, guys, so if you're new to Android and it's your first smartwatch, I'm just going to explain how the AOD mode works. So the AOD mode is a feature on your smartwatch that lets you view the time, date, notifications, missed calls and more when the screen is off. Okay, so the display has just turned off. It's just timed out and you can see the display is boring. It's pitch black. You cannot see anything. So let's just wake up the display there again and wait for it to time out. Okay, so it's timed out and once again, it's pitch black, you cannot see anything. So I'm going to show you how to turn on the AOD mode. So just simply press the home button there on the side and go to settings. And then scroll until you see watch face and home, select it. Then scroll down until you see AOD, turn it on. You will see this warning that explains that this will reduce battery life. Just select the tick to continue. Um, I'm not really bothered about it affecting the battery life because this watch comes with two weeks of battery life anyway. So um, I doubt it's hardly going to impact it in any way, shape or form. And if you scroll down here to AOD style, it just explains that a matching AOD will be used when the screen turns off. If there isn't one, it will show the set default AOD. Okay, guys. And if you scroll down again, we have the option for AOD style. And if you scroll down, select the little arrow there. These are the different always on display mode styles. And if you look beneath some of them, you will see the little settings icon there. And you can customize the color. Let's just go back. Yeah, so like I mentioned, if you look beneath some, you'll see the little settings icon and you can select and customize the colors of the AOD. Not all of the default AODs have the settings icon, but a few do. So it's nice that you can customize the AOD. Okay, so it's currently set up now. So let's just wait for the display to time out. Okay, so it's now timed out and we can see the always on display mode there. And like I mentioned, when, once it's enabled, you can see missed calls, messages and everything right here on the always on display. And I must say the always on display mode, it definitely does find a matching always on display to add to the watch face as you can see that matches up perfectly well with the default watch face perfect okay let's just change the watch face Okay, let's try this one. This is another default watch face that comes with the watch. Okay, so that pretty much matches up well as well. Matches with the time there. 
in the middle. And I'm just going to show you all something. Like it mentioned in the little message, it says that it's going to try and find um, a matching AOD to go with the watch face. But I've noticed with some of the downloaded watch faces, it will add a default AOD that will not match up with the watch face. For example, look at this. This is a downloaded watch face. And that AOD does not match up with it whatsoever. So just do, do bear that in mind. Some of the watch faces that you download, it will not find a matching AOD. So it'll just add a default AOD to the downloaded watch face. Just bear that in mind, guys. However, you can still go into the settings and change the color to maybe match it up. So let's try that. Okay, so let's try add a green color. And it should match up a little better than the red and the white color. Okay, so that looks a bit better. But yeah, guys, this was just my video taking a look at the AOD mode on the Huawei Watch GT Runner. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, guys. Share the video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. And I'm out. See you in the next video, guys. Doses.